get through the shell of this centaur and see the damage that he's already putting on but meanwhile you got dj who gets first blood on debil this windrunner getting taken out by the elder titan stupendous shackle shot over mid dj taking a lot of damage trying to get the sleep off but it's not gonna be enough to survive yopage with another kill because they're not playing around the catapult deceptive rune of invisibility while Remnant forward looking for DJ. He goes in and out of the Roche pit, point ring around the Rosie a little bit. Meal nearby, sweep. It's on the Windrunner, but avoided by Yopaj as he slides, and then the Blood Rite comes in. Another rotation on the top lane. Rupture is available with the dive. Almost kills himself. All right? Yeah, it's just in time. It's uh, closer to 2k than 3k. Jump for Moon. Oof, sweep. On a play hard, and he's looking pretty dead. Earth Splitter comes in. The blood rate's not going to be in time. Yopaj finding. Except yeah. his Enigma. I I think. Uh, okay, hook, hook shot. shot. Hold that thought. Comes in. They've got the battery cell, but there's the ball lightning with a sleep on the two. Maybe they can turn this into something more. Misaros gets pushed back via the cogs, and the only one they'll lose right now is Jean Uel, and they dig Stampede. <laughs> so hard to kill this IO, and. Okay. Blood right. Bleed mail popped by the centaur. Slight action. I was looking over at Natsumi earlier as he got a pretty quick battle here. It's like 12 minutes, 12.45. Decent spot for him to be in. And then he stacked the shot just a little bit by jabs. See these team back and forth by the bounty room. The sweep comes out once again onto the clockwork. The shot was thrown, but it's not going to go latch on to anything. Get an easy kill out of the clockwork. It has really just been supports dying throughout the entirety of this game. Uh, there's some beef between uh, DJ and the clockwork. Like Januel probably did something in a pub, possibly. You know, every single time he just Ooh, pops that ulti on him. I don't know if they're going to get this. Yeah, Yopaj has to commit to leaving. Sunray on the play hard. Ball lightning. They've got the vortex. This will be the blood right silence onto both the wisp as well as the storm, but it's not going to matter. They still get the kill to play hard. Moon gets credit for that one. So Fnatic holds on to that 4K lead. Musa. And a fight. Taros didn't even use a stun yet. Yeah, now he's got the stun and Hookshot comes in. Cogs are down, but Natsumi's dead and so is Januel. But Taros is surviving. A spell alive. Oh my. He doesn't he's even super go tanky. down. He's super tanky. Like, possessed mask gives him a bit of a lifesteal, some extra strength on top of that. Magic resistance. Right? Abs. On the edge of it, they've also ruptured him. He doesn't have that ulti to work Radiant's with, but still, Raven keeping attack. him healthy. They got the sleep on a play hard, and now they're gonna ball lightning. They have the vortex, they get the kill on a play hard. Eventually, a power shot does come in onto the phoenix and kills him, but this is costing Neon so much. They still want to go for Misaros. He throws down a two man stun. Well, Battery assault kills him. Now he, and you know, it's a big kill. Needs uh, quite a lot of gold, but BKB will be done on Ayo. I, th I think that's the time. Get yeah. a blink dagger on a centaur. Get that BKB on Ayo. Oh, lightning silence, and now the hook shot coming in onto Moon. Voids the power shot, but he's got the Spear of S on him. He'll go to the ball lightning TP out attempt. Full with that, but now DJ, Earth Splitter, with the rupture and the shackle shot. So Debuel actually gets credit for that one. I use the stampede to try oh, this could be a four man stun. Oh, stun comes in only on the two. Blood right in. He stunned up the centaur. But with the sun right on the Jean they're getting the kill with the BKB being popped by Natsumi. Soros, he's got help, and that's from Raven tethering him up and keeping him healthy. Smoke used here by Fnatic. They're coming around. They want to make something happen. As Blink, as well as the stun, onto the clockwork. Natsumi, he's got his BKB, but Yule's up into the air. Now we'll pop that BKB. He goes after Masaros. So they're going to get help from Tabeel. He's right by these trees. Oh, good Gets egg. it with the shackle. The egg is out, but it's not going to explode in time. It does force them over to the other side of the lane. Fnatic, are they going to continue to move on this? Shackle hits again. That's on Raven, but the ball landing onto the back lines. They get the kill on a Tabeel. They'll take it a second. They've got the blood right down with the BKB. Pop by Raven. 
Yo, Pod. He's got a BKB if he wants to make a move on this. Playhard coming over from the side. He doesn't have a lot of mana to work with on this Bloodseeker, but now Yule's up into the air is the Phoenix. There's the Rod of Atos. Jabs low. Hit with the Rocket Flare and killed off by Yopa. <laughs> Besides, like, Earthshaker. So, looking really good. Phoenix going Saros. into Heaven's Halberd. Saros missing a, missing a stun. Now, Neon might want to bring it the other way as they'll go through. They've got the Rupture on a Masaros. Remnant forward from Yopa. He's looking over a DJ. Side of the Secret King coming out of the Elder Tank. with will move up to BKB and go into the Rupture. Onto Deville. They'll get the go to the front of the huge Shadowell as well. He drops, that's two for one, they fall back on the side of Neon, they're yet to buy back on the Elder Tank, they're going after Natsumi, who's really low, Sun Rain burning him away! They get that kill on Natsumi, they will cover Johnny well again, they've got on to both the IO as well as this Phoenix, who continue to chase. Like, they can reset, uh, possibly go in, Ursa does not have a buyback, they already expended two buybacks, so is getting caught. He's in trouble, through the Shackle, Battery Assault, pods around him, but here comes Raven! And he's relocated in. Here comes Ice Frog. Yeah, this is Fanatic. Really starting to turn this one around. They got the triple clock with once again from Ball. And coming up from They've got the Orchid onto the Ember. He was waiting for him after the slide. They'll get the kill on the Ember. They'll take out Yopaj. And on the high ground, Tabeel falls for the second time. Four heroes gone without buyback on the side of Neon. Fanatic looking clean. And he's going into the heart. We'll see if he commits to the heart or if he makes it Sonic Kyle like you're thinking about. They catch Tabeel once again. Ball lightning in with a vortex. Does land a shackle, but it's not gonna matter. You had your warning. Let's see if they can find anybody. They're on the opposite side of the map of where Neon are at the moment. Moon showing mid for a split second. He's holding on to a haste rune. They're gonna come across, they're gonna meet. They're not too careful, Moon. Forward on this one, side of Fist Searing Chains, jabs in an hook interesting shot position. Again. That is a point blank hook shot that does end up missing. They've got the Sunray as well as the Supernova onto the high ground. Yopa's trying to right click the one, this one away. Januel, he's the first one to drop inside of Neon, and Supernova goes off. But play hard gone as well. Yopa's trying to fight his BKB. He's going to run out in just a minute. They get the kill on a Natsumi, the ticket of the Urza, and look over at Yopa's Sunray trying to TP. Can anybody There's stop the relocate. This? There's the relocate that you were asking for. You get it for such a long time on Neon. They haven't gotten anything done just yet in terms of... Yeah, I can feel the same, games. you know. Uh, mentally, I've been stuck at them for pretty much my whole life. But I'm not the only one. Genuel ends up going down to Raven. You know, done here for Fnatic. They just got to close the book on it, which shouldn't be all too hard. Ball lightning in with the Vortex. BKB gets pop. They've got the Bashes coming through in a moon. Can they get the kill of this storm? No, they can't. The Stampede gets committed. Moon still sitting here with an Aegis, so he's got two lives to work with. DJ gets a little bit low, but the BKB being popped by Yopaj and now TPing out. They'll escape the hands of Fnatic for now, but, well, Fnatic, they haven't exactly left the base, so he's going to have to rely without that BKB to try and make something happen on this Ember. Hook's coming in from Natsumi, or out of Atos as well as the Blood right down. So it's just a chip chains. damage at this it point. They, they, <laughs> immediately. Uh, they cannot, uh, I, I would be surprised if they get a kill on one hero until this game ends. Because Centaur is sitting at uh, 4,000 HP. Let's see the zip. Yeah, Ball Lightning as well as the Vortex coming in. They've got the Silence on the Ember. The hook shot comes through onto the Storm. The Shackle connects the Centaur onto the Storm. So for right now, they need to be a little bit careful. But they get the kill on Yopaj. They'll take him out. He's gone without buyback. 60 seconds on the sidelines. And they're going to play through this, it looks like, and try to stop it. But it doesn't look likely. And as I say that, I eat my words. As GG is called and Fnatic. Take game number one over Neon in what is the biggest series of the DPC right now. Yeah, very clean execution coming up from Fnatic. Damage is also at the SAR mid lane. Let's see who's rotating. DJ is there, possibly with the roll. Yeah, the roll comes in. It's going to land. This TP seems a little bit late from the Elder Titan, and first blood comes in. <laughs> BKB is fine. You know, they have no BKB piercing abilities against the mana burn. It's going to work great. Think about the one right here. Play hard. A lot of damage. Just gets into the rolling thunder. Trying to get that bottle off. Bounces back and into the air again and oh, again. What and again. a baller, yeah. man. If he gets this skill, he has, he's earned Gosh. my respect. Wow. With I, a sliver of health, pulls it off. Dyer's bottom tower Bottle, is under like said, attack. Going Kaya BKB, magnetized. That comes through on a Debeel. They've got the damage. They should kill off this Cottle before he's able to TP out, and they do so. 
damage picked up for Yopaj and activated now. Searing chains, but there's the board from Raven trying to make something happen. Geomagnetic Drift. Roll. That misses Yopaj. So Ashbuckle's not going to come through and do anything. Johnny Well is dead to Moon. TP away from K, but not in time. They have the Searing Chains. They have the Rolling Thunder. Both of which hit okay, DJ and take him out. I'm over here. So you're coming up and ball aiming with the vortex. They're going through on a play hard. Meanwhile, they've got the dust that hits onto the Ricky Tricks of the trade, getting the smoke cloud down. Now surviving for a moment. I'm actually chasing Earth Splitter coming in. They get the kill on a Raven, so they're going to trade play hard for Raven at the moment. The Soros and DJ trying to run away, as well as the TP out from the storm. So they are going to let DJ die. We could say four man silence with the geomagnetic grip. Ember Spirit can lock him down with the Searing Ooh. Chains. That's Yo, it. Oh, okay, he needs to be grip, careful. He's super dead. dead. Well yeah, this is why, like I said, Blade Melt could backfire. Okay. It's delaying your BKB hey. timing. You Radiant's have a BKB there. You just bop it. You live. Fanatic, we're ah. well aware and well ready for that. As Moon's making an aggressive play on a play or pops the BKB, and they'll get another. So Fanatic put things together and... Sumi needs to be. Tower is yeah, he's got an Aegis, but he still needs to be careful. It's well, three versus gonna five. Roll. They're he's going in energy. onto this Coddle. They'll look over as they'll Two get themselves five. the kill with the blink strike. And now Elder Dwan, he's going to fall 1v5 if they're going to fight Natsumi. They'll take everybody around. Could really work out for certain heroes, especially with the greedy lineups. Now they're chasing Neon, they're in, DJ. DJ. <laughs> DJ's like, what up? <laughs> he kind of passes like two heroes, and now finally they're going to start attacking him as Saros. With the Earth Splitter as well as the Rolling Thunder. That's coming through Dark Seer gone. Two heroes dead on the side of Fnatic. And now potentially a third. DJ under his own tier three, but it's not going to matter. You're not safe there. Black Hole committed, on one. <laughs> and it stopped immediately. Jules comes out from play hard, and Jabs is gone. Yeah, I don't know what Jabs is thinking. <laughs> Fourth with the ball lightning, and now play hard is invis. <laughs> Use the smoke. They're gonna try and fight this. Smoke broken, and now there's the blink strike as well as the silence. They'll go with the BKB, but the bash! Oh, immediately on the jab the goes into the black hole. That's gonna be on the Phantom Lancer. The Yuki comes in, and that'll try to keep alive this Phantom Lancer. They get the kill on a Masar. They'll end up losing Natsumi, or will they? Doppelganger gets some space to view gone. It's two for one with jabs hit the deck. Natsumi has somehow survived and he is healing up moon he's gone three heroes dead on the side of fanatic they're in a smoke cloud but they will take raven's life could have made a difference on the phantom lancer that's for sure now full butterfly on pl be a bit more careful there doesn't have any offensive tools no lincoln sphere one abyssal blade could just Get him from a hundred to zero. Very Ooh, close. Wow, oh, Raven oh, jumping on the side. Wow, look at that damage. Immediately they on the Elder the Titan. They've got the wall down. They're going after Masaros. They're going to have to fight through the wall for the moment. Masaros looking like he's all alone and gone. They'll buy back on the Elder Titan. They don't have buy back on this Dark Seer. And now the ball ending all the way onto the back lines. Look for Johnny Well once again. But there's the Abyssal Blade used on the Storm. He already used a oh, buy back in the gone. previous fight. So he's gone for two Whoa. minutes. He was there, and then if you blinked, he wasn't. They will get the kill on to this Elder Titan. My question is, how do you defend with three heroes? Dark there will be up in 25. Ricky. He's thinking Look at his positioning. Back. Like, I love that. He's trying to go from the side. Earth Rift rolling in. Other heroes that aren't Phantom Lancer. He gets the silence onto this Pangolier, but Yule's up into the air as well as the BKB. BKB pop by Yo Paz, Shield Crash, right clicks coming in. DJ gone, so is Play Hard, but Play Hard has buyback. Oh, unfortunately, so does DJ. He, he could not pick up the gem there. So, yeah. ET, ready, Play Hard also buys back, picks up the gem. And back from the Earth Spirit as well. Natsumi. He'll lead the charge again, and that's, you know, what they were trying to avoid is there's the Abyssal Blade coming again onto Jab. He'll get the kill on the Enigma. He does have buyback. He has that BKB as well as this Black Hole if he has a chance to use it. Now BKB, Malefice, Natsumi sitting low. Doppelganger once again, and Debeel already knows that he's oh, no. that BKB. There's no Black Hole that's going to go off. He'll end up dead. They'll look over at DJ. He doesn't have buyback either. Bounce into the air with the Rolling Thunder. They get the kill out of the Air Spirit. Now they'll look over. They can't even get Natsumi's first life. They're bashing up Raven. They've got through with the side of his searing chains. They'll get the kill. They'll take out this Ricky.
and he is called Nia. They will take the game over Fnatic. Real well played coming into this last and final push. Fnatic just fall too far behind. They fall without buybacks. And uh, like you said, that's the mindset, and they eventually do end up getting to it. But Sentry down now, second Sentry down. Play hard. He's in trouble, and he's dead. Not being stacked, you instantly devoured. Moon heads over towards top. They've got the Wraith Fire and Blast into the Sandstorm again. Taking a little bit of damage. Moon not committing an exorcism just yet. He's holding on to a regen. He can take this tower and potentially turn this towards something else. I mean, Johnny Wells is just dead. Exorcism solo, Spirit Siphon, they've got themselves one, Raven low, Burrow Strike out, Fortune's End, and now this is gonna be a second. Yo, Pajit just in. It in. Oh, they've got to be on the arrow. Oh, the arrow hits. Still Ravenwood live, has that reincarnation, a very Jabs interesting in. move from Moon there. Oh man, if they get this kill on Yopaj, that's gonna be huge. Yeah, he's just not having a game at the moment. The Exorcism rips him apart, so they've got another kill onto the TA. Cleanup is not gonna make can. a move. Raven will just uh, TP in out. the river though, they'll find Deville. Moon getting a kill there. They are four heroes in this river. They hook shot and hit John Uel. They did take the stack, so this would be Elder Titan dying too. The stack's good for Yopaj, but it's still a discussion on whether or not he wants to go Blink or Deso as they're looking for Playhard. Dream Coil committed, trap on to Moon. Where's but the Playhard, sentry? He's in a bad spot. Epicenter, Burrow Strike coming through. There's the false promise. Playhard, you've been played hard. This is slowly getting choked out. And Neon need answers. It's tough. Arrow. Following up the sweep. Let's see the hook shot. Now oh, he's pinging Jeb's like, yeah, man, come close. Uh, hook shot, uh, coil to keep them in place. That profit all the arrow splitter. combo. And that'll come through. But again, the false promise comes out. They've got damage on the play hard. He'll die first again. Neon losing heroes. They've got the silence onto the Marana. Masaros will stick with him. Hook shot misses. Jean Uel thinking maybe he could get a sweep here. But the Astro Spirit on cooldown for another four seconds. Exorcism committed. A jab is actually, I'm not going to say super farm, but, uh, you know, Ooh, he's exciting. getting the items. That That's what matters. And he's getting the correct ones. Burrow Strike, Dust, Meld Strike comes in. Can they get the kill out of the Death Prophet up into the air? Surviving oh. a little bit longer. Jabs is dead. Moon on the run. He's surviving, but finally the Burrow Strike comes in. They got three on this. Whoa, all of a sudden, Neon coming out feeling strong. Doesn't go to the Illusory Orb, and now Debeel has an arrow available. He'd have to land it from a distance. He'll actually hold it as Yopaj, Blink, trying to keep up with Masaros. And I think at the end of the day, Masaros will live. Now Moonlight Shadow. Oh, okay. this, this could backfire. Moon. Double damage. Super Pearl Strike greedy. coming in. There's the Silence onto the Sand King. They've got the Dream Coil down. But... It doesn't look like it's going to do much, and they've caught the Silence now onto the puck. They'll take a second. Natsumi, he morphs into the puck, has the Waning Rift, gets the Silence onto the puck, and that's what controls him enough to get them to be back into the Roshan's pockets. Yeah, he's got Burrow Strike now. Look at the range on that. Oh, my God, DJ. He did that from the stairs on the bottom part of the river. That is disgusting, the range that you're able to have. He's got Morph up in just a second. He'll turn into the Sand King again. This time he misses the Burrow Strike, though. Yeah, he gets got hit by the Dream off. Coil. And, well, now this might be a problem for Natsumi, who's just blown up. Play hard trying to get away. That Burrow Strike gets him some distance. Raven, though, on top of Deville. They'll get the kill on a bolt. They'll look over to jean Uel and get themselves a third. Deville over to the side. They haven't exactly made their jump in just yet. As Roche not going low too quickly, but they find themselves the cock. They'll get the kill on a jab. They'll use the Dream Coil, but coming in with the Burrow Strike is not too with the BKB pop on this Morphling. They've got the Shivas going off, as well as the Disarm out of the TA Exorcism right on top of Yopaj. Down goes TA. No one there to save him. Just bad positioning from this Templar Assassin. From Ooh. Neon, they're trying to find Oracle, possible Clockwork. Yeah, they find themselves the puck instead. Quick kill on a Masaros. Doesn't have buyback there for 70. Maybe a fight, maybe more. So let's see. 
Ooh, burrow strike from high ground to low ground. Spear Vessel on him. There's another burrow strike on him. Masaros, they'll get the kill into the puck. They'll take him out for 70 seconds. But now they're inside the Moonlight Shadow. They've got the Air Splitter coming across. They've got the right clicks on a Raven, but it's not going to be enough from Natsumi just yet. He'll walk up out of the high ground. The burrow strike hits onto Moon. Moon Exorcism rolling. This is at least one that's not going to get themselves the towers. Burrow strike all the way across. They got the disarm on a Natsumi, but it gets out of the hands of Moon as well as Raven. Another burrow strike comes in from Playhard. Spirit Siphon on both this Marana as well as the Morphling Moon. Now he's silenced for just a second. Eon Desk is such a great item. Hookshot right comes out on a play hard over bottom. Dream Quill to follow it up. Raven showing off that Abyssal Blade. They get the kill to play hard very quickly. Four heroes show up and just ransack. Possibly. Oh, there's the Abyssal. Rankings in. Yeah, he's jumping forward. Hookshot to follow that up. Four staff back trying to keep play hard alive. They've done so. BKB gets popped by Natsumi. They're going to make the move with an old fire on the clock. They get the kill on the Jabs, but he's going to be alive a little bit longer thanks to the Axe that's on the Wraith King. They hit the sweep that hits onto three heroes. That'll make sure that Jabs dies without doing anything to follow this one up. So the clockwork's gone. He's dead for 63 seconds. They've got buyback available. They'll look over at Raven, who does lose that first life. That is the reincarnation gone. Now they got to get through him probably three oh, more good. times. Borrow. Burrow Strike, Epicenter, all coming in. Aeon just procced again. Burrow Strike, one more time. Raven gone. Moon, he's low, and he's got the Noah Fire on him. He'll survive for a couple seconds longer, but they look over the Oracle, who's dead to Debeal. They've got themselves heroes surviving just because of that Ags on the Wraith King, but they finally take the Aegis out of the hands of Raven. Now they got to kill him again. They look over at Masaros, who's a little bit low on health. Debeal, silence. Abyssal Blade coming through out of the Marana. Play hard, thinking about going in. They've got the hook shot. It's only out of the Siege Creep, but enough there for the right clicks to come in and take out Play hard. Place another one, giving away 25 gold like that. Arrow he hits on the a arrow. Mood. They were trying to set up a trap to go on under this Death Prophet. How do they make their move? They've got buybacks available on the TA, the Morphling, as well as the Elder Titan. Only buyback available for Fnatic right now is Masaros. Duels into the air, silence on the Death Prophet. Removes the silence with the Stormcrafter. <laughs> and here now, fighting into the Exorcism. Do they want to go? Got the silence on a play hard. Illusion moving forward. Moonlight Shadow used. There is a sentry down for Fnatic. Burrow Strike comes out. That's out from Natsumi. The damage on the moon forces out the false promise. The Abyss Blade's going to be used onto the Morphling who pops that Manta. They've got the right clicks coming in as well as the Dream coming out, coming out from Asaros. Her splitter down. Sweep is there. Raven low. Death Prophet gone. Natsumi though. He's dead too. He's got buyback, however, and they're going to try and make a move with this. They get the kill on a move, but they lose Yopaj. This is buybacks used around the horn from Neon. Oh, They've Fnatic also got the buyback to coming go out back. from Moon. They don't have the Sand King to morph into. They don't have the double Burrow Strike lockdown that they've been using. Epicenter's on cooldown regardless for another 24 seconds. Even if he were able to come back alive, he doesn't have enough gold for that buyback, and it's on cooldown for three minutes. They use the Abyssal Blade as well as the Dream Core coming through on Natsumi, who is taking a lot of damage, but Raven, the one fighting back, and he's in so much trouble. He's getting low. Four staff back. Silence on to the Morphling. They've got themselves a Wraith Fire Blast as well as the Dice. Take out Natsumi. They'll get the kill on the Morphling. Take him out for two minutes. And I don't think there's much more to show here for Neon. Fanatic, they might be able to take this series. But Neon, they're still trying to fight. They know how much it means. They've got Mega Creeps here for the side of Fanatic. And now they'll move in with the Exorcism onto the Tier 4s. You just don't have enough damage without Morphling. There's no Sleeps, second Burrow Strike. Arrow. But the Silence! Silence on all four heroes. The Burrow Strike as well as the Air Spinner comes in with an own fire on a moon. They've got themselves a Spirit Vessel on the Death Prophet, but it's not going to be enough damage with the Force that pushing them back. They look over as T is trying to do all he can, but Yosh Paj has been disarmed. Now stunned up. Force Staff to get some distance. There's the Crypt Sword coming in from Moon to get a kill on a Yo Paj, taking him out for two minutes. Still, Neon have not called GG yet. And as there I say is. that, there's the call. And Fnatic, they will overstep Neon and take the series two to one. What a big win for Fnatic. Now both of these teams are 5-1. and one.